Hello and welcome to this month's Plan With Me video. I hope you guys are all happy, safe, and well rested at home. I know I've really enjoyed spending more time with my family and doing creative things like painting, journaling, and even a bit of guitar. For the month of June, I decided to go with a koi fish theme filled with lots of watery and fun colors. If you stick around, I'll show you my complete process in creating this bullet journal spread. For this project, I use a pencil and eraser, Socorro of America's Pigma Micron Fine Liner, the Socorro Koi watercolor set, an Arteza water brush, and my favorite metallic paints from Kaliro. I already sketched in my fishy drawings in pencil off camera just to save time, but now I'm just using my Micron pens to outline the design and add in all the little details. These Micron pens are perfect for spreads like this because they are completely waterproof, so I can paint all over this later without smudging or messing up the line art. The pens come in a variety of thicknesses, but I think I was using the O5 size for this spread. Okay, I'm just gonna speed this up so the video isn't like an hour long. Speaking of length though, I would say this complete journal spread probably took me around 45 minutes to create, 15 for sketching and outlining, and around 30 for painting, I think. I feel like that's around average for how long I spend on my monthly cover pages. I tend to go all out for these, but it's always super fun for me so I don't really feel the time passing by. sketched in a few small ripples to enhance the water effect. I wanted it to be more casual and messy, so I didn't press as hard on my pen as I did for the fish. So you can tell the lines of the ripples aren't as thick or as dark as the lines of the focus of my drawing. Now that we're pretty much done with outlining, it's time to move on to the next step, erasing. I don't have many tips for erasing because it's pretty straightforward, but I would just say make sure your ink has fully dried before you begin erasing or else you might end up smudging all of your line art. Yay, now it's time for the fun part, painting. Normally when I paint, I not only set up my paintbrush and my watercolors, but I also have a water jar, a small paper towel to dry off excess paint, and a bit of scrap paper so I can test out all the different colors. I started off painting the water first, mostly because I was super excited to work with all the pretty blues. My process was pretty simple. I tried concentrating the paint more around the fish, letting it fade out around the edges. It's pretty important to work at a somewhat quick pace. If you allow too much time to pass, sometimes the watercolor will dry and it'll be significantly harder to blend the areas together later. I also tried accentuating the ripples by making them a little darker as well. Once again, I'm going to speed this up a bit so the video won't be way too long.
you can tell, I definitely got a little impatient with so much blue, so I decided to work on a few of the orange fishies. These are pretty straightforward to paint. You just literally fill in the bubbles. I have to say though, I actually really like the contrasting colors of blue and orange. Although they're actually opposites, I think in this case, the specific shades I chose for the orange and blue work really well together and complement each other. somewhat satisfied with my painting, so I proceeded to write June, which is the month that I was painting this cover page for. Polyro metallic paints are actually insane. They're so brilliant and they really add something special to your painting. I just brushed the gold color onto some of the details of the fish to give it a little bit of a shine when you turn the page. Ta-da! Here's my completed June cover page for 2020. I really hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to give us a follow, Dreaming Color, if you want to see more content. See you guys next time.